everybody, my name is Shannon and I am still waiting for my Seder and today we are talking about The Way I Used To Be by Amber Smith. So long story short, I went into The Way I Used To Be pretty much completely blind. I did know the premise that it was about a girl named Eden who gets raped and that it was going to show her through the next four years of her life and how she changes and how she becomes a different person, but I was really not expecting it to just completely hit me over the head with the feels like it did because oh my god, this book was so beautiful and amazing and emotional and just overall just completely blew me away. And what I loved about it is that it brings to light all of these issues with society when it comes to rape, when it comes to people not being able to talk about it, and when it comes to people holding it in and bottling up their emotions. And it was just so unbelievably amazing. I'm probably gonna say amazing like 30 times, so you could turn this into a drinking game. Pretty much any time I went to go listen to this book, I was in tears within like five minutes of turning it on because it is just so, so powerful. And I mean, it opens up with the event, with our main character Eden being raped by her brother's best friend. And she just doesn't know how to talk about it. She doesn't know how to handle it. So she doesn't. She just bottles it up and tries to pretend like it never happened. And this is partly because the guy who raped her, Kevin, has made it so that Eden could probably never talk about it if she wanted to. He threatened her life and he has made it so that nobody would ever believe her. And that is her biggest fear, is that nobody would believe her, nobody would take her seriously, everybody would think that she's just making it up. And that's something that we see in society a lot. There are a lot of rape cases that go undiscovered because people are afraid to talk about it. They're afraid that their friends and their family aren't going to believe them, that they're going to shut them down. They're going to think they're liars just out for attention, which we also see in the media. And we really need to stop this behavior because of what happens throughout the rest of Eden's story. Because as life goes on for her, she starts to just get full of this hate and this anger to the point where she just can't feel anything else. And she just becomes a completely different person from who she was in the beginning. And her friends try and help her, but they don't understand what's happening and they leave her and her loved ones leave her. And it's partly because she's pushing them away, but it's mostly because she just can't deal with her feelings and they don't know how to help her so they leave her and this leads Eden to only feel comfortable with strangers because that's the only time that she doesn't feel anything at all and that is the only thing that is comforting to her. This story really does hit home for me because I had a friend who went through a very traumatic experience and just basically shut herself off from the world. She pushed away the people around her, me being one of them, to the point where we could no longer be friends because she would not talk to me. She would not let me help her. She would not let me understand. And because of that, I really did identify with Eden's friends because I know what this looks like from the outside. I know that it just looks like they're going through something, but they'll be fine. But seeing it from Eden's perspective, you see how muddled it becomes, how emotional it is to even think about it because Eden hates herself. She hates her brother. She hates Kevin for doing this to her but she just doesn't know how to handle it until she just can't take it anymore and it all finally comes out. And the fact that it took her this long to do it is because of that fear. She was living with this guilt, like maybe it was her fault. Why didn't she scream? Why didn't she call for help? Why didn't she talk about it earlier? But she just couldn't because she was so, so terrified of what might happen if she acknowledged it. The real takeaway from the way I used to be is that we as a society need to become better at letting these victims come forward to tell their story because we have been horrible at it. The media portrays these people as just wanting attention. They're just piggybacking off of somebody else's fame. They're just trying to live it up. They're just lying and that is horrible. Nobody would lie about something this awful happening to them because it's humiliating. Why would somebody make it up? Why would somebody want all of this negative attention just to have attention? No, that is not the case and we need to be better at being more accepting and more understanding about what these people have gone through. And this book also highlights that it can happen to 
anybody. It does not matter if you're a boy or a girl, how old you are, what you look like, what you're wearing, how you're talking. Anybody can be a victim. And I really think that this shows that we need to get better at making people understand that you should not ever do this to somebody. Not that you should be prepared for it to happen and that you should be able to prevent it yourself, but no, we need to make it so that people see that you should not be doing this. This is not the correct behavior because in college, on our first day, we had a bunch of seminars about how to prevent yourself from getting raped and because you should expect it. Don't ever travel alone at night. You should always be armed because you're probably gonna get jumped. Why don't we teach people that this behavior is wrong? Why don't we teach people that you should not expect to be raped because that's horrible behavior and nobody would ever do that to you because those people are horrible people. Yeah, we should be prepared. We should kind of expect the unexpected, but we're just perpetuating this behavior by not addressing it. And I really think that everybody needs to read this book because Amber Smith brings that into the light. She shows everybody that we need to get better with this. and. That is really why this book gets an A+, because the writing is gorgeous and the message is amazing. If you cannot handle this intense material, then I really wouldn't recommend reading it. But if you can, I really think you should, because the message is just so powerful and means so much. And it's something that I think everybody needs to hear. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and bearing with me. I know it got pretty ranty and I know it's two days late, but if you liked it, go ahead and hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe so you can talk books with me every Monday. That is everything I got for you today, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.